Hello, my name is Lenny, and what is this? Um, I think this is like a developer's blog. I wanted to chill out from my work, um, and so I figured I can make like a small Java SE project, um, preferably a game, and I kind of come up with this. Um, this is just the first step, and. I hope there's gonna be more. So um, let's describe the, the game. This is the mainframe. I actually used a tutorial um, on how to make a g simple Java game engine. So this is nothing new. I mean, a lot of this is pretty obvious. I just like how um, those classes are connected. Um, this way you can just create one class for your game and all the necessary stuff, drawing and so on, can be done there. Um, one important part is, is here. This actually centers the mainframe, well, the frame. Um, so you don't have to move it from top left corner, whatever. Very simple. Let's see. Um, this is the supposedly the game board. Yeah, we're using, um, well, I'm using Graphics 2D. I was actually working on it with my friend. Um, he was connected to me through TeamViewer. And we were kind of working together, well, brainstorm brainstorming together. Um, I mentioned this. I didn't mention this, I believe. Um, this is for the listeners. And I think I'll be adding more. No, I don't think I need more. Um, but you can override all this. And actually I'm gonna do... Well, we did override most of the settings. This is the thread that runs the game. Um, pretty simple stuff. I don't think I need to explain anything. You can see the code and if you're... If you know Java, you know what that this does. Um, the only thing to mention is there's the game get delay, which is here. Um, yeah, here. And you can actually override it in your um, in your game class, which will extend this class. And my game class, um, I named it a random name. My previous game I wanted to create was Gold Ends, but um, well, I kinda reused this name. Uh, I already, I have already overridden the first three fields. I haven't overridden the delay. Actually, I should override it, but whatever. Um, I was in a hurry and we wanted to create something fast. Um, so we created a frame in the beginning. Um, this frame. Then we like edit a few settings. Um, Anti-aliasing, which is pretty useful. Um, you kind of avoid the edged um, sides of the <laughs> objects. Um, objects are much less rough and they look much uh, better. Then I I kind of changed the game engine and used JPanel here, even it's it's not the best way. Um, I think I should be using J component pane. But hey, um, when using JPanel I can just set double buffer here and <laughs> I got free double buffering, I don't have to implement it myself. And I didn't know how to do it in J component pane uh, without uh, uh, creating my own double buffering. And I wanted to create it fast enough, so I used the JPanel. Um, well, and then we added like this dot, um, this little fellow. That's all I can say about him. <laughs> um, also, I have set him to the middle of the board, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, if I uh, moved. Well, resize the screen a little bit, it will be in the middle. Um, 
next uh, thing worth noting is that we, well, I edit um, this. Um, this is a key event listener, or well, key listener, which uh, kind of reacts to the keys being pressed. And this way I edit um, simple movement for the dot. So I can, I could move it um, up, down, and left, and right. Um, yeah, but that wasn't enough. And actually we didn't have the background, so <laughs> the dot was like leaving a trail up behind it. So I added um, the background and this way I actually um, fixed the issue with the uh, trail behind the dot. I've done this, I've achieved this by um, printing the background first and printing the dot afterwards. Then we wanted to move the dot diagonally and that was actually a problem. Um, so I had to add like... Uh, what did I add? I think I don't need this. So. The way how it works is that when you press a button um, here you set a field, boolean field, to true. Now, um, that means that I can remember, well, the program remembers which button you pressed, and when you release the button, it uh, changes the value back to false. So, when I uh, press more than one button, I can actually decide which way the character should move, and that's here. And I can move it in the specific direction. Like here, when I press um, A and S, it will go left and down at the same time. And left and down is here. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. So, um, I can go left and down. Yeah, in the same time. So, we figured the way how to fix the diagonal movement and in the same time, the, we have fixed the delay on repeat as when you, when you move in one direction, um, it takes like a little, well, it takes some time before the key you're holding, you're pressing, well, you're holding, yeah, um, keeps repeating itself. So when we change the direction, it will actually be like sketchy as the dot will have to stop and then move in the other direction. By using this approach with um, booleans, we actually fi fixed the issue, so now you can move um, without stopping, which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, so um, this is the end of my first developer's log, blog, whatever. Um, video log, yeah, that's that's the word. <laughs> so, um, hopefully, see you next time.